On today's Pro Presenter Show, brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, more settings to change on your Mac to optimize for Pro Presenter. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of church tech tutorials, just like this one, courses in my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, because ministry loves company. I keep hearing people complain about problems that are simple to fix, but that can cause problems if you leave them on the defaults. In previous videos, I covered iCloud backup settings, power settings, separate spaces, display arrangements, and system sounds. I forgot an important one, though. So let's take a look at that. There are a lot of preferences that you want to set up in specific ways, and I've got another video that shows you most of those, but I missed one. And you might think it's in ProPresenter, but it's not. It's in System Preferences, which you can get to by clicking the Apple up here and then System Preferences. Now, when you get here, what you want to do is select App Store. Now here is where we're going to change what we need to change. Make sure you're an administrator, otherwise uh, you won't be able to do this, it won't work, etc. So, automatically check for updates. Fine. Download newly available updates in the background. That's okay. Install app updates probably fine as well. It's these two that I'm most concerned about. This one and this one. Um, and the reason is if you keep your Mac off during the week and then you come into church and you don't have a half an hour extra, you don't have an hour extra, maybe you're getting there at six o'clock in the morning, I don't know, whatever, it could be that turning on your Mac will have you install those. Um, if you want to be absolutely safe, I would click that or even click that just to be absolutely clear that you're totally cool. That way, still do the updates, but do them when you have time to do them. So right after church, when you've got the longest span of time, just in case something goes wrong, it gives you time to troubleshoot. But that's the thing that I would check and make sure that's set up that way so that you don't get any scary surprises right before church. One of my biggest beefs with Windows right now is that it seems like there's a glitch that makes it auto-update no matter what you do. Sometimes. Turning off auto-updates for Mac will prevent similar problems. That said, don't forget to do updates on your Mac at other times. There was a security flaw in High Sierra that was discovered in November of 2017 that made it possible for anyone to walk up to the computer and instantly log in and take control. It was quickly fixed in a subsequent update, but if you're a if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of person, you might not have noticed that it was broke and needed to be fixed. So, updates are important. Just do them during the week or right after church so they don't bite you right before. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear about all my videos when they come out. If you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free, Go to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, -I, and sign up for the mini course of your choice for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com. Go out and change eternity.